Everything that's happened up until now, that's just the warm up. But here's even better news. You're still early. We're actually so incredibly early. Yet we are still profoundly early. We're still freaking early. We're still incredibly early. Really, really, really early we are. Very, very early days. In Everybody has me convinced that we are still so early. But how early are we, actually? I'm pretty sure that means we're 97% early. Everyone talks about being early like it's a good thing. Like you showed up to the party before the drinks ran out. But what if we're so early that we are showing up to a party that takes place in a hundred or even a thousand years from now? We well, might be imagining a world of hyper Bitcoinization, but what if it doesn't all arrive at once? What if the real challenge is not adoption, but distance? Distance. The distance. The distance. Spend your disbelief for a moment. Imagine it's the year 2137. Tesla designs interplanetary spacecraft. Amazon delivers paper towels to asteroid belt colonies in under two days. Your smartwatch has more processing power than the entire internet had back in 2024. The IBM Stellar Sphere, the Microsoft Galaxy, planet Starbucks. Humanity has gone multi-planetary. We've colonized the moon, terraformed Mars, and built orbiting cities above Venus which have ornaments hanging from the sky for some reason. We solved energy, we solved transportation, but there's one thing we still haven't solved. What's that? Consensus. Oh. Do you agree? Uh, Doesn't matter. But I thought Bitcoin solved consensus, like the, the uh, Mesopotamian problem, the general, their general problem. Yes, the Byzantine general's problem a fictional scenario where generals of the Byzantine army must agree on a battle plan, but some of them might be traitors sending false messages. The problem illustrated how distributed systems struggle to reach consensus when some participants may be faulty or dishonest. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. Bitcoin is the first system to solve this problem at global scale, using proof of work to make lying or cheating too expensive to succeed. For now, Bitcoin has only solved this problem on our planet. So it begs the question, what happens to Bitcoin when Elon Musk deploys his new space travel Tesla model and colonizes the outer limits of Earth, what then? This concept of Bitcoin's role in our interstellar future is laid out in a three-part masterpiece by Dhruv Bansal called Bitcoin Astronomy. In his article, Dhruv lays out one of the most mind-bending ideas in the Bitcoin space, the law of hash horizons. And to help me with the explanation of this, here is my good friend Business Cat. So the first law of Bitcoin astronomy, or the law of hash horizon, says that given a constant hash rate, as a miner moves away from the center of the hash of the blockchain, the number of blocks won by that miner statistically trends towards zero. Obviously. But what is the center of hash? Any network that is working on digital scarcity like Bitcoin has what is what we call a center of hash. The center of hash of the Bitcoin network is somewhere right around the center of our planet because all of the miners are that are contributing to the network are in our gravity well. If you have if you got one miner out and put it on a on a satellite or put it out on the moon or something, that center of hash would move slightly in that direction. That that's the idea. It's the average location of all of the contributing hash power. So because Bitcoin is based on physics, Let's get physical. Bitcoin has a 10 minute block time that will never ever change and you can make predictions about the future. Okay, so Bitcoin has a 10 minute block time. What does that mean? How can we take Bitcoin with us out of this gravity well? Both the Earth and Mars are going around the sun at different velocities. So at any time throughout the year, they're at different positions in their orbits. So that means that the distance between Earth and Mars varies from about a two minute light delay to about a 30 minute light. Delay. It's like 22 minutes to two minutes, somewhere, somewhere in that range. Meaning, if you had a Bitcoin miner on Mars, you are going to be physically constrained because of your physical distance from the center of hash of the Bitcoin network. You're not disconnected, you're not banned. But in practice, you might as well be invisible. It's not because Mars is bad at mining, it's because Earth is too good, and light, light itself, is too slow. Extrapolating further, Dhruv points out in his article that as this hypothetical Mars colony grows, it will likely revolt, paving the way for development of their own coin. Enter Musk coin. Why Musk coin? Because it will likely be SpaceX who has developed the technology enough to colonize. Ah, imagine all the Tesla plug-in stations. 
When I think about you, baby, ain't no one comes close to you. All the mother chargers on the line don't have the votes you put me through. Fun fact, did you know that there's a clause in the SpaceX Terms of Service that for services provided on Mars or other colonization spacecraft, the parties must recognize Mars as a free planet and that no Earth-based government has authority or sovereignty over Martian activities. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Thank you, clone voice. You're welcome. All this talk about Bitcoin in the future makes me want to mine this thing in my garage. Like now, two problems with that. One, I live in California where the cost of electricity is 30.44 cents per kilowatt hour. Two, this is my garage. I wonder if there's a company out there where I can manage my own mining operation remotely. Have you heard of SAS mining? Is that just another one of those hosted mining services? There's hosted mining and then there's mining as a service. Too many platforms promise fresh Bitcoin, but end up renting you problems. SAS mining isn't like that at all. You own the rig, you pay cost for power, and the Bitcoin you earn? Surprise, it's also yours, straight from the source. With zero markups on hardware and electricity, SAS only wins if you do. This is what mining was always meant to be. Visit sasmining.com and book a call with an expert team member and start mining today, not in the future. Tell them the Simply Bitcoin channel sent you. Don't worry about cleaning your garage. Going to a new planet, to start that planet's uh, blockchain potentially will become the driving factor of why you want to be the early colonizers to get there. Eventually, sure, yeah, it's likely that Mars will spin up its own coin. Elon's play, like Musk coin, maybe his play on Doge is, oh, well, this is going to be Mars's coin because he knows that okay, they're going to need their own coin eventually. So how do you be the ultimate first mover advantage? The person who's building the buses to take us there. This isn't betrayal. This is necessity. Earth's chain can't serve Mars in real time, so Mars builds a chain of its own. It starts with Mars, but soon every colony follows. Not because they hate Bitcoin, but because they love autonomy. Each colony is different. Different energy, different latency, different needs. One chain can't stretch across the stars. What about Earth? What about Earth? Are they cool with Elon starting his own coin or whatever? Good question. Let's just say Earth is not happy with this arrangement. Why do why do wars happen? Well, when goods and services stop moving across borders, tanks and soldiers do. People in our gravity well become antagonistic enough to the point that we are going to go to a, a hash war scenario with people with the Martians. What, what would they? Do? How could they defend themselves? The first thing they would do is turn off their network, turn off comms. Yeah, it's written into the the terms of service that we're our own colony. But like, I really doubt that will stand. Like, imagine if if China gets there first. Oh, it's a Chinese colony. If the SpaceX gets there first, okay, well, it's gonna have it's a oh it, it's a SpaceX colony, but it ha it's gonna have Americans there. And I guarantee you, the United States government's going to claim jurisdiction over those American citizens. <laughs> The federal government of America wants Americans worldwide to pay taxes, even if you're not here. Like, no other government does that. So, yeah, like, Americans on Mars, you better pay your taxes. So, like, for them to go there and for them to be like, no, we're, we're, we're sovereign, we're middle finger, it's not going to be like, oh, well, we're not getting our tea from Mars. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be that, oh, it's the middle finger. This cannot stand. Any empire that allows that crumbles. A Martian Independence Day likely is coming a martian independence day is coming i kept thinking about this as i was doing some routine maintenance to my house and then it hit me this is all it would take not some hacker halfway across the world just a guy with a wrench i imagined it all the approach the door the swing and then resolve my keys aren't in one place i use casa multi-sig Three of five. No single point of failure. No wrench. Gets everything. Good for pipes, not for Bitcoin. It's your Bitcoin. Protect it with Casa.io. Visit Casa.io and secure your Bitcoin today. Back on Earth, things haven't changed much. More hash rate, bigger machines, faster chips. But one thing remains the same. We don't like losing control. Earth would likely strategize an attack on this emerging Martian chain to keep them in line. This is what Dhruv Bansal calls a hash bomb. A barrage of high-powered blocks all mined from Earth, aimed at overwhelming Mars's new chain. It's not just about blocks, it's about legitimacy. If you had controlled like 70% of this Musk coin uh, network, 
then seven out of every 10 blocks is going to be empty, meaning those there's three blocks for all of the Musk coin users to do on-chain transactions. So th that's where it, like you're going to cause a dramatic bottleneck. This is assuming that Musk coin uses the same security algorithm. But it really, even if they didn't, even if they chose a different one and some actor here on Earth was angry enough at the Martians... <laughs> Earth has the industry base. If an economic actor on Earth wanted to do something, the w resources available to them on Earth would vastly outnumber what a like the defense could be on Mars or another gravity well. The, the Martians can't afford to withstand this attack, the hash bomb attack. Is this how Bitcoin continues to propagate itself through our solar system and even our galaxy? Will Earth always remain the center of hash for all of eternity because of its resources? These are all just thought exercises that we'll never really come to understand, but it does illustrate the point of just how incredibly early we actually are. Everybody, when they get into Bitcoin, thinks they're late. I thought I was late. Everybody thinks they're late. And it's, it inevitably leads to people wanting to play some kind of casino or another kind of casino to try to make up what they consider the lost time to try to catch up with the Joneses. I mean, one of the lessons of becoming an adult is like, there's no Joneses to keep up with. It's it's you and yourself. We are all only competing with ourselves for our Bitcoin stack. You think you're late to Bitcoin. You have not examined it well enough yet. Still very early. In the number of humans that will use Bitcoin to beam value around our solar system, we're of the first like 1% of 1% of 1%. There's entire generations of humans that will live their entire lives on Bitcoin that haven't been born yet. Are, are we early? It, it's, yeah, like the game hasn't even started yet. People are still filing in and sitting down. Anyway, y'all, hope you like this video. If you want me to make more on this topic and further cover Druv's three-part series, link in the description below. Let me know in the comments. If you like this content, consider smashing the like button, or you can click it softly. Subscribe to the Simply Bitcoin channel for more content like this. And don't forget to set those notifications. I'm Oceans with Beyond Bitcoin, and here is my relevant tagline.